Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. I mean, you are welcome, my friends. Now, someone on Twitter calling herself the Mary Sue is saying that it's only male critics giving Captain Marvel bad reviews. Should we have a look? Yes, I'm back on Rotten Tomatoes with another investigation into this film and to disprove another lie from SJW. So we have Kristen Lopez from The Culturist, right? A great superhero origin story, which I agree with, by the way. Captain Marvel's origin story is pretty awesome. Hobbled by the corporation using it for their own selfish purposes. God, it's that Google thing. Go away. Sorry about that. Then we have Laura Clifford from Reeling Reviews. Marvel not only finds itself lagging behind DC with its first female superhero, but utterly losing the contest. Captain Marvel is a boring mishmash of ideas from a score of other movies and franchises. Wow, Laura. So that's Laura. So let's have a look at some more. There's more here if I go on to the next page. So let's have a look here. Stephanie Zacharak. It's a splat. Let's see what she has to say. And she has got a gold star, by the way. She's called a top critic because Stephanie is from Time magazine. Maybe the Mary Sue needs to look at this. Larson does get a few opportunities in Captain Marvel to be that regular flawed but strong human. There just aren't enough of them and they're hardly the focus of the movie. So Stephanie isn't very happy with this movie. Now, should we look at the full review? Let's have a look at the full review. Because she's a woman, met the Mary Sue, you need to read this. Welcome, Meredith Clough. Actually, should we not read all of it? Because it's just a bit complicated. Anyway, um, you could basically, yeah, if you go onto Rotten Tomatoes, you can read full reviews. Uh, my tablet was playing up, but basically, She's not happy. So that's another female. That's the third female to give um, Captain Marvel a splat on the review. So that's a, a third female critic, right? Here we are. You know, this is just the gift that keeps on giving. Mara Reinstein, US Weekly, top critic. It succeeds more as an amusing fill-in-the-blanks Marvel backstory provider than a confident standalone tale of a woman discovering her fierceness. <laughs> it's another one and she's a top critic. Oh, now this isn't a top critic. She doesn't even have a picture, but she's a woman. As for Zuckerman, the thrillist. The raw material is all there, agreed. But filmmaking itself does not yield any truly thrilling, resonant moments. The action sequences aren't, are, are wrote at times, almost muddled. So what are we now? Is that four or five women? Should we go on and have a look? Now, come on, you started this, the uh, Mary Sue. So let's have a look. We go on. Oh my God, Scott Mendelssohn's on here. Well, he's not a woman, is he? Now, this is what he has to say, though, for a laugh. Like Thor and Iron Man, this oddly phased one-ish MCU movie is entirely dependent on its charismatic cast. Basically, he likes the cast. He's trying to say Larson does okay. But the film is shit. Right, here's another woman. Lindsay Barr, top critic, Associated Press. The first female-led movie of the MCU deserved more. Wow. So a lot of females are not happy, right? And that's it. Yes, that, that is it. So what did we find? Did we find four or five, six, six women, basically, who gave it a splat? Now, we have to be honest and say more male critics didn't like it than female critics. But at the end of the day, right, at the end of the day, it was still a, an amount there of females who didn't like the movie. So in the gift that keeps on, going, keeps on giving, this is very funny now because you've got this female calling herself the Mary Sue saying it's only men um, giving Captain Marvel poor reviews. But that's not true. I've just read them out to you. You can go on Rotten Tomatoes too 
and you'll see that there is enough women who don't like this movie either. But when you see the prominent female critics giving it a fresh score, right, even they don't seem to really like the film wholeheartedly, but give it enough of a vote to make it a fresh kind of rating. Very, very interesting. The Mary Sue, you've been proved wrong.